Well, the Marvels is right around the corner and things are not exactly looking all that stellar for the movie or anything related to Disney for that matter. We have Nelson Peltz and Ike Perlmutter breathing down the neck of Bob Iger. Of course, we've just had the South Park Pandaverse special, which lampoons Kathleen Kennedy as well as all of Disney. And now we're getting rumors that Nia DaCosta bailed in post-production for the Marvels. But first, let's go and talk about the box office projections. Now, according to ComingSoon.net, along with a wide variety of other outlets, the Marvels is slated to make somewhere between 50 to 75 million domestically and 121 to 189 million worldwide. Now, this is my personal opinion. I think that domestically, 50 million is probably going to be more on the high end. And we're looking anywhere between 35 to 45 million for its opening domestic box office. Again, this is my opinion. It's not really based off of anything. Oh, wow. It's even worse than initially projected. It's now 45 million to 50 million. Wow, that's really bad. So this is actually leaving the realm of just being my opinion. There is now evidence that this movie is not going to make as much money as they initially projected. Now, I'm sure that the Captain Marvel shills will bring up the fact that Captain Marvel broke a billion dollars. Yes, that is correct. It certainly did. But you know what? It was also sandwiched between two of the biggest MCU films ever. And so far, we have not seen a single movie from Phase 4 or 5 break a billion dollars, with the exception of the Spider-Man films from Sony, but quite frankly, those don't count because they're Sony films. And of course, now we are getting the rumors that Nina DaCosta herself bailed in post-production. The Marvel's director, Nina DaCosta, did not leave during post-production. Sure, okay, but what exactly would you call moving to London to go work on your next project with Tessa Thompson? Well, I mean, we've had several rumors that she's been done with Marvel. This article came out back in December. Director Nina DaCosta implies she's done with Marvel Studios productions after the Marvels. So the idea that she bailed during post-production really doesn't come off as surprising surprising to me. And on top of that, we've had the whole thing with the review embargoes lifting a couple of days before the movie comes out, which does not exactly bode very well for this film. But what do I know? According to Reddit, I'm just some misogynistic troll on the internet. I love this. The Marvels, the latest feature project from Marvel Studios, is facing challenges and struggles. Well, no shit. Thank you for paying attention. Test screenings of the Marvels reportedly left audiences feeling lukewarm, to say the least, which seems to be the norm for the the recent Marvel features, adding in the lack of anticipation for the film. That seems to have been the case with anything that has come out after Endgame. And I think it has been rather evident with the kickoff of Phase 5 with Ant-Man Quantumania. 463 million worldwide. That is pathetic for the maiden voyage of Phase 5. The studio is fighting an uphill battle on several fronts with struggles all around, including the rumor that the Marvel's director, Nina DaCosta, was not involved in the post-production. We have heard this report is not true and she was very much involved in the editing process while based in London. Now, I know that with the modern workplace, we can all work remote with certain jobs. I'm not sure how that works in Hollywood, but to be honest with you, it sounds like she f***ed off the London. Her next project, Hedda, starring MCU alum Tessa Thompson, is currently in the pre-production stages, with DaCosta having moved to London earlier this year for the film. While the Marvels was still in post-production. According to a source from Variety, DaCosta leaving was kind of weird given the sheer scope of the project. Strange indeed, as if she went and abandoned the project while it was in post-production, but clearly that's not the case because that's what this article tells us. However, it begs the question, or rather, it solidifies the answer of who truly controls a Marvel project. And if you guessed Kevin Feige, you answered correctly. I suppose ultimately it does not come as a surprise to you and myself, but it does to the Access Media. Kevin Feige has gained more creative control on the MCU movies. I I'm sorry, have you not been paying attention since 2015 when Ike Perlmutter was fired from Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige gained complete control of the MCU? This isn't new. Though DaCosta holds significant title for the Marvels, her apparent leave from the feature is reminiscent of the Eternals writer slash director, Chloe Zhao, reported experience with Marvel and a reminder that ultimately, Marvel movies are more Kevin Feige than anyone else. That is literally the biggest no does statement of the year. Now, honestly, you don't have to look that far back to see that it has become all about Kevin Feige. Just look at the 2015 movie, Ant-Man. Edgar Wright was literally removed from his own film. And this is really when Marvel has started to become more and more formulaic. 
Anyway, that is my take. What is yours? Leave a comment down below and make sure to hit that like button on the way out. I'll catch you next time, folks.